Hey, this is Jeff from the New Janky Workshop, and today we're going to be making today we're going to be making storage uh, clamps cart, not a cart. Today we're going to be making it. Making a storage rack for our clamps. A part of my clamp storage over here. I've got my parallel clamps there, and then I've got my short little, what are these six, eight, ten inch clamps over here. Then up over here, I have my longer clamps, along with a host of other crap. And this just doesn't do, especially when I'm trying to pull one of these down, I get stuck on another one. Then I need to wear my stupid hard hat just to get any of these down. Duh. What I'm gonna do here today is not anything revolutionary. It's been done before. I'm moving from terrible Terrible clamp storage. That's a USB cable up there that's strung between some screws. <laughs> Going from some terrible storage to better storage. So, let's do that. Ah. First things first is what I need to do is I need to take all this stuff down from here so I can get clear up this space, measure everything out for my clamp racks that I'm going to put up there, and then we can go from there. Wait, I'm going to turn a fan on because it's freaking hot. I want to me uh, measure this length here and this should be 16 on center and it's not 16 on center uh, yeah. not 16 on center so if I make my racks 16 inches that should be good I should be able to fit them here to here here to here and have several of them so I'm gonna figure out the layout how I want to do this but make it work And now that I moved everything onto my workbench here, they clean it off. All right, just sorted through all these. I have 17 here and four parallel clamps and 10 small clamps. So that's 27 clamps. For now, this is good information to have. Now I need to move these so I can work. The one thing that's really bothering me about this whole thing is that I have 27 clamps, not 26 or 28, 27. At what point did I ever just buy one clamp? I don't know. Some leftover scrap I was working out with a project with my son. Remember, I wanted to use 16 inches, so let me see what I got here. So, this is going to be the piece that I use. It's going to make a mark on the 16s and just quickly hit it on the chop saw. Found this terrible old, really crappy plywood, which would be perfect for this job. So, what I'm gonna do is have this, have it mounted up on there. So, this can screw into the joist. There, like me, it'll be this way, but I'm gonna hold it like this so I can show you. This is gonna be mounted on the joist, the screw there. This will be mounted on the back. I'm just gonna glue it and pop some things in it after I cut these. Um, so what I need to do now is measure out how the clamps are going to go on this. So I get one of each style clamp here. I know this center is about a quarter inch. So this can go on here. Boom. Give it a little... I got one here. And then these ones are a little thicker, so I'm going to use this really as my template. I'm on a little space. So the first one is going to be, so I'm going to run that down the center here. And then this is... A little over an inch wide. So I'm going to do an inch and a quarter between.
there's something wrong with me. I know. So now I'm gonna glue and adhere these to here. Doesn't need to be anything special because this plant brick is the best part about pneumatic tools. These are almost ready to go up. But now, there's one more thing that I have to do. That I completely forgot about until now. So I need to make some little 45 degree angle paces to actually go here. that these don't all need to be on the same plane. These ones will be a little bit more accessible, right about there. And these ones will be a little bit less accessible, like up there. Although those will get in the way. So these taller ones probably go up, over, and out this way. And these ones should go along this way. There's like it's whitey bracks right here two right here yeah two right here and then one over here maybe for the other ones i didn't really think this through did i huh story of my life like that Then, one of my other ones. Let's try that. Sure. Yeah. Now for the moment I've all been waiting for. Let me get my clamps. Well, I need some more of these, obviously. So, you know, round the collection out. But, yeah. There we go. And I might still be able to store some of my old crap up here. Still need to hang the parallel clamps, but... I think that'll be for another day. So there you have it. With a couple of basic tools, you can get your clamps stored and out of the way in a way that's actually proper to hold your clamps rather than just kind of sticking them on a USB cable like I had before. So, yeah. So there you go. If you like what you saw here, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. If you have some different ideas, something we should have done different, or have your own ideas, please leave them in the comments below. We'd love to read them and discuss things with you.